For this example of how to cite and save a web page, I'm going to use the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics Occupational Outlook Handbook website. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, for an example, use a baker. And I have the Occupational Outlook Handbook for that. So now that I, looks like I have, you know, some information that I want from this page, I'm going to capture the page into Zotero. And I'm going to do that not by clicking on the Z, but by clicking the button immediately to the right of the Z. And it'll come up at the bottom here that it's saving to your library. But I need to make sure that I'm accurately citing it. And what's great about this page and why I wanted to use this as the example is because there's a suggested citation that I can double check my work to at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Z for Zotero and it's going to pop up Zotero on the bottom part of my page here. And I'm going to go ahead and expand this a little bit and I'm going to come over here and it's always a good idea to double check whatever Zotero saves. Zotero has certain ideas it wants to save but I need to make sure and double check that it pulled the right information and that it pulled accurate information. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to manipulate the title. The title has a lot of extra stuff here that I don't need. So I'm going to go ahead and delete everything but bakers because that way it will actually allow me to cite anything that can be found on any one of these tabs because I'm looking at whatever is under the baker page. Once again, I click away and it's automatically saved that. Based on the citation at the bottom when I get to author, I find that there are actually two authors, the Bureau of Labor Statistics and the U.S. Department of Labor. So I'm going to come here and first list the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And then I'm going to go ahead and click the click out of that. And I'm going to click the plus here to add a second author. And that is where I'm going to put in the U.S. Department of Labor. And a tab out of that. Those just go in the last name fields because they are organizations. Uh, the first name field is left blank. Under the website title, that's where I'm going to type in Occupational Outlook Handbook. And as indicated up here, we are specifically going to be looking at the 2016-2017 edition. So I'm going to then add that with a comma here. Uh, I'm going to leave website type blank. There is a date here. There's a publish date at the bottom. So I'm going to leave off the day of the week and just type in December 17th, 2015 in that order. Uh, the short title I'm going to leave alone. It pulled the URL, which will be important for our works cited page later, uh, as well as the access date. Uh, everything else should be okay. So then I can click out of that. So this now should cite correctly once I bring it into my paper. Once again, though, I can use the notes feature. So if I go to the what they do page and uh, I have these duties, I can go ahead and just copy these duties from the website. I can go to notes. I can click add note. And now I can just paste the information here. And so now it's, it's here. I have it readily available. I can directly drag and drop this into my document. Or I can um, type or paraphrase the information from here. But I have it saved here in Zotero, so I do not have to keep going back to the original website. And so now I have the relevant information saved accurately, as well as a note on the page and that would allow me then to work in my Word document later to create the in-text citation properly as well as a works cited page.